I'm Sue Murphy. Um, I'm an admin officer here at School of the Air. So I like to show people around and take them into a live on air lesson and how the communication systems work in the mailroom. And why do you think people are so interested in it? Because it's so different to mainstream school and we do get a lot of overseas tourists who are very interested as well because they just cannot fathom the size of our country and why we would have to have a school of the air where the kids just can't come to school every day on a day to day basis. And I think it's just very interesting to see how um, isolated people learn. How widespread our school is, why we can't do playground duty. Naturally. <laughs> anyway, <Yeah. laughs> um, naturally. The small pens indicate where we have students. It may just be one student, could be half a dozen. Okay. Just, yeah, depending on the family and the station. Some stations have like, a lot of workers and, yeah. and their kids could be yeah, part of the school. Right, yeah. um, this is our Queensland students. We all actually do have a couple of students in South Australia at Enaminka. Mm -hmm. That is because they're ma of the mail system. Their mail goes through Mount Isa, believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> this is for the first, this is a this is a whole term's worth of work for the wow. first term next year. So that's the ten weeks worth of work. Um, these this time of year we have boxes lined up all everywhere. Yeah, ready to go. Yeah, yeah. ready to go. Yeah, so. so she's actually talking to them right now. Oh yes, yep. And um, Jo's a prep teacher, mm -hmm. so she's got the real bubblies of five oh, and six year olds. Right, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous to listen to. So how many yeah. would she have, you said, two? Oh, she's only got two on at the moment. Yeah. You can see that um, the bottom section of her computer screen, oh, there's two okay. people shapes, I suppose you say. Yeah. 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 I'm not sure. <laughs> He doesn't like to talk about his age very much. I think he gets a little bit embarrassed. He's he, Well, he's been there as long as I've been there. And, and you're not going to tell us how I, old I you are. I don't like to talk about how old no. I am either. No. I think I look quite young. Do you have a big snow globe, Santa? Snow globe? Yes. You bet I do. They're, my, they're actually my favourite because uh, when I... Uh, and flying around, and especially when I get to Mount Isa, I get a little bit homesick. I don't get to see the snow anymore. So snow globes are something that remind me of where I've been. Do you ever have anything to remind you when I've you go? I started here this year. Yeah. But um, I've been in the education system about five years. And what difference is it to working here to what you have been doing? Um, from going from yeah, it, there's lots of differences actually. Um, I noticed sitting in on lessons because coming from a teacher aid background I was in all the lessons in a mainstream school and talking here it's the teachers play a huge support role, lots more marking, um, the communication with the children obviously changes because you haven't got the visuals, they've got to think out of the box and I guess it's something like going from a TV reporter to a radio reporter I suppose in that sense. Yeah, and I think the bonding between the teachers and the families is very strong. Yeah, that is one thing I've really noticed. Yeah, it plays a key part for fa the bond with the families and the relationship between the home tutor and the teacher is very important too, that all the information is being related properly. Yeah. Yeah, so... So you enjoy it? Oh, I love it. <laughs> anyway, it's a great place to work.